Welcome everyone, welcome racers, welcome gamers, Project Cars 2, the season of ASP GT3 Championship concluded yesterday with the final race at Hockenheim. So today it's time for some career shenanigans. Uh, back to Formula C. I really need to finish it. Uh, Round five of the Formula C World Championship. Round five of seven, Sportsland Sugo. Uh, track, I think it's a new track in Project Cross 2. I don't remember it from Project Cross 1, to be completely honest. And I only had a chance to drive on it once, and that was in Formula Rookie. So, yes, it's quite new, quite a new track for me. Um, Let's give it a try. We start. We'll start with the practice because, uh, yeah, I need to practice that car on the track. Uh, no idea how to drive that thing there. I think uh, for that formula, I need a bit harder load. So here we go. We we'll put it on forty. Forty should be good. Uh, tuning setup. I have something here. I don't know what changes or there probably something to do with the tires, so it doesn't matter. Let's let's give it a try. Let's learn it. I I have a dashboard ready here, so I should be able to see what what is happening with my car. Uh, the weather doesn't look promising. Um, 29 degrees on the truck at the moment. Oh wow. What is quite interesting that the cold tires and the cold brakes are way more influential on the driving style in open wheels than in, in the GT3 cars. Slippery. Those cold tires, 40 degrees at the at the rear. The car is losing the rear end quite easily. Everything is so cold. I think I can go uh, full throttle in that uh, right-hander, but I'm a bit worried that my car is not sticking. 
quelle no looked at the dashboard and uh, suddenly I was out of truck. I can go full throttle here, even with the so. And again, I looked at the. Whoa, that was huge. Um, I looked at the dashboard and went out. But I can go full throttle there. Uh, the temp seems to be quite good. Uh, they're not perfect, but they're not too bad. Uh, I think my brake pressure can be a bit higher. Um, I don't remember if those are soft slicks and hards. No, it's just slicks, so just let's keep them as slicks. Um, let's reduce that pressure a little bit on the front. It's 1.1 liter per lap, 10 laps, 8 laps per 10 laps, okay, so like that. And let's drive again. Nineteenth at the moment, uh, but I was driving a bit faster on the, other, on the second lap, so we sh I should be able to improve it. See how how far I can go. We're achieving a little bit better times. I don't like that uh, curb in this right hander. The outside curb is uh, really high. That's a good delta, almost a second faster, second quicker. Ah, it started raining. I can see drops on my helmet.
Okay, I was slower in the second sector. I guess they're going for uh, wet tires. I want to finish the lap. 15, so that was a small improvement. Let's try to push one more lap in those conditions before it's uh, really wet on the racetrack. slow really that's shocking degrees so the temperature is dropping a little bit that's our race truck temperature the ambient is 21 Started raining more now. Ah, oh, no. That should be an improvement. It's dry enough on the racetrack to use the slicks. Fourth, that was much better. Another small improvement, just a little bit, 23 thousandths of a second. A bit more this time, almost half a second. question is, is it going to be, to be enough to put me on the first place in the practice session? It was. Pushed a little bit too hard here.
The left hand side is actually nice and warm at the moment. The right hand side is a bit cold still. Eighty-three, seventy-six on the left hand side, sixty-six and sixty-four on the right hand side. Which is which is expected on the clockwise truck. Left hand side will be always a bit warmer on the clockwise trucks. Opposite is on the anti-clockwise. Twenty two cars uh, in that series, but it's quite empty. I haven't seen a car for a long time. That was quite a big improvement, 0 0.7. It felt quick actually in that first sector. Almost a second now. I think I could have been faster in that left, last left hander. This is a full throttle right hander, so there's not much I can do here. Skip it on the black. And that was second of the time. I may actually look into increasing the difficulty. Because at the moment, I think are there they are a little bit too slow. Another improvement, uh, a very small one. Just a three thousand of a second. So I lost a little bit of time to the sector two, sector three point measurement, but I was faster in that last left hander in comparison to the previous lap so possibly this is still there is still a chance for improvement in overall lap time no <laughs> a small one Very costly mistake, uh, but that's what the practice is for. Let's go back to the pit. Uh, it's 1.6 seconds. I'll definitely increase the difficulty for uh, forecast loss, light rain, for uh, qualification. I think uh, starting difficulty I put at 60. This is due to the last, last race where uh, where they were super fast in comparison to me 
um, and I couldn't keep up with them, I had to put it a bit lower. So, uh, I won't be doing more practice, that's enough. I'm going to skip to end, and I will continue to qualifying, where I will then close the session, exit, that will save us at the qualifying level, and I will go now to change the difficulty level, and I will I will try to put it to 80. This is where, as the description says, the AI will start using the setups, which is just a BS in my personal opinion. Because I don't think they are affected by the physics the same way as pliers. So let's do the qualifying and see if 80 is a, a good choice for the racetrack when it comes to AI difficulty. And if not, we will adjust it further. Sugo is actually a pretty nice truck. So, uh, I won't be changing anything, I'm just going to start. It's raining, I will be changing some things. Uh, actually, I will try. Let's see how wet it is. Yeah, it's wet. Uh, let's put... Okay, um, it's a stupid name. In that case, it tells me nothing, right? Let's get me a controller. It's so much easier to ride using controller. So, that's Sugo. Formula C. Uh, slicks. So that was what we were using so far, and now I'm going to change this to wet on both sides. I'm going to remove a bit more pressure from the tires, and I'm I'm going to save it. A new slot. Ah, oh, that's interesting. As uh, wet. There we go. And now we can try to do something about that weather. Hopefully I will leave the pit lane before they'll finish their lap. So I have no one in front of me. No, I won't. <laughs> Yeah, I don't drive with one hand. That's a waste of love. That was totally my mistake. Uh, let's restart the session. And let's start again.
the AI is attacking the scarabs quite aggressively. He was deep into that curve, uh, on the inside curve, on that right hander. Okay, this is uh, <laughs> interesting. I didn't have a chance to drive on wet, and suddenly I'm finding that the AI is behaving differently than on the dry. They are braking early. Three times is three times. It's the charm, as they say, right? So let's let's try third time. Okay, just a reminder, the tyres are cold, so the car will be a handful. Don't push on the outlap. Let everything get up to temperature before you start pushing. Okay, they are quite conservative on that corner, slower than expected, that's why you had that crash uh, on the previous attempt, because uh, one can drive much quicker than what they are doing. Quite slippery all over the truck. Making it a bit softer would probably help, but let's see what I can achieve uh, without any further changes to the setup. Too wide, too wide. second at the moment doesn't help that I'm driving after another car Much slower this time. Third.
I was much slower. Okay, an improvement, quite a big one, almost half a second. If I had a clearer, it would be much, much better. Keeping still the same delta of around half a second. I'm fourth at the moment when it comes to the qualification time and this is an improvement to third. I locked the wheels. That would be around a second. Oh, second and a half. That's what I expected. Oh, I think that one of them is going to... Oh, to pit? Whoa, that was dangerous. Oh, are they both going to pit? Maybe not. Uh, no, they're not. That was interesting. The guy in my mirrors appeared suddenly there on the braking, but there was not enough uh, place for him to attack. Loss, but not a huge one. Bloody, I was so good to that point. I have to be careful here. Okay. Okay, some of them are going to pit, all of them are going to pit. Finally, I'll have some uh, clear air to improve my qualification time.
Oh, it's super wet. Nice. A small improvement in the first sector. <laughs> Nothing special in sector two. Hi. I don't think this is going to be an improvement overall. So I need to push harder on the next lap. I'm very well, thank you very much. And you? It is improvement, and it's the P1, pole position. Oh, that's good to hear. Saturday after all, right? Nothing's better than the Saturday. I'm from... Poland, though I live in the United Kingdom, so I'm expat. I've been in UK for 16 years now. US, nice man, nice. Uh, which state from? Ah, oh, that's cool. I, uh, I had a chance to visit US in 2003, so long time ago. Ohio, that's where I was. So I was in the United States in Ohio, Cincinnati. I stayed there for three, three months during the holiday in 2003. It was awesome. I worked in, a, I was young, I was a student. I worked in the Paramount Picture amusement park. I'm not sure if it's still called Paramount Picture. Uh, there was something called Island, I don't remember the full name. Oh, that's nice, man. Uh, Wuch is a nice, uh, nice city. I've never been to Cleveland, no. Um, I just was in Ohio. I traveled to one big amusement park north of uh, Ohio from Cincinnati. Uh, they had the top thrill drugster. And then I visited a lot of United States by car. Uh, me and a few of my friends. Yeah, the world is small, to be honest. It is. Return to pit box. Uh, almost half a second. That should be enough. We'll see how the race goes. I'm going to skip to the end and continue to race. Overcast, so no rain. At least not now. 10 laps. Uh, going to load the this one. Yeah, I love racing, man. Uh, I love real racing. I cannot wait for today's Daytona 24 hours. Uh, my favorite racing series is actually the IMSA WeatherTech American series. I don't think there is anything better than that. So my YouTube channel is ready, and as soon as Daytona starts, I'll be watching all 24 hours, and I'm not sleeping. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of F1. I prefer GT and prototypes. That's why I love IMSA, WeatherTech. Okay, I think I'm going to put a bit more fuel. I'm not sure I've got enough. Uh, yeah, it should be enough, 12 laps. So 
let's start and let's see how it goes. Where's my teammate? Oh, I can't even see him yet. Not a bad start. Good reaction time. Oh, and a huge mistake at the braking. I wasn't too bad. I wasn't as huge as I thought it will be. Yeah, you know, I cannot race in real life, obviously, money-wise, it's too expensive. So, I love racing in Project Cars 2 and Assata Corsa. Uh, yeah, that is Sugo, which I'm quite new to this track, I don't know it that well. I really like that track, I only... this is the second time I'm driving on it. The first time was in the Formula Rocky, Rookie. But it's quite a cool race truck, actually. I like race trucks which have the. Oh, let me just get through this corner. Which has the differential in the height. So, yeah, GT4 is quite a nice class to race. So yeah, I like the trucks which have the elevation gain. Uh, Quite wide. A bit too late on the brakes. So Sugo is quite good just because of those elevation gains. Uh, I think Algarve is one of my favorite race trucks with its uh, blind corners. But generally, American race trucks are quite amazing. Road American stuff. Well, the elevation, elevation change matters in terms of uh, driving style, right? I mean, elevation gains influence the car balance. If you're going downhill or if you're going uphill, the weight will be shifting front or rear of the car, so it influences the braking, braking zones, wheel locking and stuff like that, right? But it also makes the racetrack more interesting in comparison to the flat race track like Hockenheim for example which is a nice general nice European race track but it's quite flat and it makes it a little bit more boring than those trucks where like Laguna Seca the corkscrew is amazing right it's kind of blind corner you know where it is but you don't see the bottom of it I hate to tell you this but there is a major downpour expected in the next few minutes rain okay that'll be interesting I haven't prepared the oh no that's game over. And dirt, uh, yeah, I'm not big into the rally. I mean, I like dirt rally one and two, but I'm not too good in, in rally. Uh, I'm actually quite bad. Uh, I drive it for fun, but my results are crap. And I haven't spent a lot of time uh, in, in dirt rally. I need to focus on because <laughs> the last attempt was horrible with that huge crash. Favorite car in terms of racing or or real life? No, don't worry, don't worry. I'll try to do both, drive and answer your questions. It's nice to chat to someone actually. When it comes to racing, 
It depends on the series. I like LMP2 cars. I generally like the prototype LMP2 series. It's very competitive. The cars are identical. When it comes to GT, Corvette. Oh, Chevrolet Corvette. I love that car. Uh, I love the DPI class. Uh, Cadillac looks amazing in the DPI class. But yeah, GT will be Corvette, uh, prototypes will be LMP2 class. And when it comes to road cars, Lambos, generally Lambos. I love how they look like. But I don't think I have a generally favorite car. I mean, in GT cars, I also like Lambo, Huracan, GT3. I love uh, Bentley, Continental, such a huge beast. Chenevsky, that's easy to pronounce for me. <laughs> I guess uh, people in the US have actually problem with that last name, right? To pro properly pronounce it. They have a lot of problems uh, with my last name here in UK, okay, so... Yes, there is a major downpour expected in the next few minutes. Yeah, there is a lot of polls... Uh, Living in US in Chicago, from what I know. Never been to Chicago though. Man, America is a, is a beautiful country. So much to see there. A huge, huge country as well. I want to come back there one day with my family just to show them the US. And one of the things I want to do, I want to go to see NASCAR live. Okay, good advantage of around three seconds. If I can keep my focus on. Thompson. Does he have some of that uh, Scottish accent? Man, I love that Scottish accent. Sometimes I cannot understand it, but it's so amazing. <laughs> Ah, it's a shame. <laughs> Scottish accent is amazing. <laughs> it's so funny. Especially from Glasgow. 
Oh, they were right. It's actually started raining, and my setup is not. Uh, my That's the best final sector you've done today. Great strategy stuff. is not ready. I have to pick up a strategy for my pit stop. That's not good. That rain is picking fast. Vasilevska, <laughs> yeah, nice name. Wow, that's wet. On slicks, that's crazy. And the forecast was overcast, was in the rain, and that's a just downpour. Roger that, hit now, we'll be ready when you are. Cool. How is that AI staying in that conditions? Okay, some of them are changing tires, which does make sense. That's a busy pit stop. Oh, come on, let me go. Whoa! Drive. Those are some horrible conditions. Yes, I started in. Uh, I started in go karts. Then I moved to the open wheel path because I don't like open wheel. So I want to do open wheel first. So I then moved to rookie Formula rookie from from go karts, and then I'm in Formula C at the moment. And once I'm done with all of the open wheel then I will move to the things I really like. Oh, there's a big puddle there. Oh, those are on slicks. They're losing a lot of time. I don't know where the puddle, so... Super dangerous here. So I don't know what to expect. Uh, this is lap 6 out of 10. Back to first, I believe. The guy behind me is pushing hard. Just a half a second advantage. Think about defending from that guy behind. 
that's what I'm thinking about. Three more laps to go. So dark as well, cannot see anything. I think that race would be stopped in real life, red flagged. Another puddle there. Two more laps. Another puddle there. And the final lap. A big puddle here on the inside. I will be aquaplaning straight away. Few more corners. It's just right behind me. 0.3 seconds. I need to defend the inside. Puddle. You've got any more pace up your sleeve. Now is the time to use it. Push and the final corner.
That was a cool race. I love racing in wet. I know I can skip the cooldown lap, but I like the realism of doing the cooldown lap, going to pit stop and parking the car there. Same as with the formation lap during the flying starts. Whoa! That was strange. Was there a puddle there or something? Oh, it doesn't matter really. That's P1. That's the kind of job we're looking for. Great driving. Less than a second, but it was cool. Uh, I had a best lap as well, so that's good. That's extra point. How did my teammate do? I cannot see him here. He was last. No, he was yeah. No, he wasn't last but he was without points, okay. As a team we are first and as a driver I'm first, which is good. They lost two races I think and I one. I think I lost Monaco.